Paul Kepel, Kanye West, and Bianca Sensori are not faced by Kim Kardashian's latest deal with NBA. Instead, they are focused on their own endeavors and believe in giving it time to succeed. You want to find out more about Kanye and Bianca's new brand in the making? Or they, why they don't feel the need to compete with Kim Kardashian at all? Well, let's dive into the story and see how this unfolds. Now, in the midst of Kim Kardashian's partnership with NBA, Kanye West and Bianca Sensori have seemingly remained unshaken over the news. Why? Well, it's simply because unlike Kim and her mentality that Kanye is competing with her, Kanye believes that when it comes to business, one needs to be very careful not to make drastic decisions all because. Now, we all know that Kanye and Bianca, while in Italy, they did travel with their Yeezy team and according to reports, they were working on a new merchandise for his Yeezy while it was also announced that Bianca was looking forward to launch her own brand. It was reported that Kanye and the talented Bianca Sensori were not only planning on making a new merchandise, but also it's going to be a fashion comeback for him since the cancelling. An insider did recently say that Kanye is planning a groundbreaking collection that will shake up the fashion industry and hopefully it is going to be released before this year ends. It also informed that Kanye traveling to different countries like Japan, Italy and others has left him very inspired. That's why amid us waiting for his fashion line, we are also looking forward for his new album. Now guys. Kanye and Bianca before even releasing the fashion line that he is currently working on, if you have been keen, these two have been trending in the news for their fashion choices. Now, leave alone the fact that some people don't get their fashion choice, they have been having some bad as signature looks like the socks shoes, the black attires that Kanye keeps putting on, the tights for Bianca then the strap heels, these two have been rocking these looks since they were rumored to be working on something new which makes fans believe what they're saying is actually true. Also, we have been seeing them attend different fashion shows together so they might be seemingly looking for ideas fingers crossed anyways so like i was saying kanye and bianca don't actually feel the need to compete with kim and honestly looking at the rate at which kim is moving like the lodging of men's wear now the nba deal i just hope she don't get exposed or too excited and end up messing up just saying Anyway, while the world speculates about the success of Kim's menswear launch, this power couple continues to work tirelessly on their own ventures, confident that their time will come. And trust me, when I tell you this, these two are geniuses at what they do, so I am completely certain that something spectacular and like the insider said, it's going to be a culture-shifting merchandise. Anyway, like I've been saying, Kim Kardashian recently launched skins for menswear and while launching it guys, she used sports celebrities like Neymar Jr., Nick Bosa and Shai Gligas Alexander and these three men, all of them literally showcased t-shirts, tanks, boxes and briefs from skins. Now like usually, Kim blundered again guys by using a controversial figure that is Nick Bosa who supports racism, a Donald Trump fan and a Beyonce hater. Now, this didn't only decrease the sales but also made fans mad that Kim would use such a person to promote her merchandise and on top of that, fans also believed that Kim used her kids to get these deals with his people that is North who likes basketball. I mean, you all remember that time when North used to go to these games with Kim Kardashian and also Saint who likes soccer and American football. I mean, we all also remember that time when Kim used to travel with um, Saint almost everywhere, like going to the streets for the soccer. I mean, she was using her kids. Anyway, so this attracted negative publicity for her men's wear, making it flop before it even hit the markets. But fortunately for her, she recently signed a deal with the National Basketball Association, that is NBA, and indeed it is a great achievement for Kim Kardashian really because nba took to its twitter to post the news of their partnership when it posted a photo of kim holding a basketball in her hands and captioned it saying introducing the schemes and nba partnership schemes is now the official underwear partner of the nba 
However, NBA might see this as an opportunity, but fans seem to have a different view about this. After this went viral and official, like everyone was seeing it, fans couldn't help but start commenting all sorts of negative things about this deal, because for one, fans believe this deal wasn't a fair one that allegedly, I repeat, allegedly, Kim slept her way to get this partnership. I mean, I don't blame fans for thinking that too, because think of it, previously in the past month, she has been linked to almost most of the NBA players. Also, the Kardashians do have a history of dating these players, so it could be true. Anyway, fans kept commenting negatively over this partnership as one wrote saying, Good lord, now I don't want to even watch the NBA anymore, while another said, Why do they need an official underwear? Then the other said, Y'all just made a deal with the devil, then the other simply said, the Kardashian curse. Well, if I am to give you a piece of my mind, I believe that what Kanye and Bianca are doing is actually smart because we all know for anything to literally sell out, you should make people like it before they even see it. You get what I'm saying? Like the Kanye style? So, Kanye and Bianca understanding this reality choose to focus on their own journey and do these things their way while kim who seems to be moving at a very fast pace is facing all this backlash simply because maybe she didn't give her audience her buyers the time to fall in love with the merchandise also the choice of mojos especially bossa was also another blunder so for me i would say kanye and bianca won Anyway, I am completely sure that Kanye West and Bianca Sensori will continue their dedicated effort towards fashion remaining unbothered by Kim Kardashian's NBA deal and the rumors surrounding her men's prayer launch. Instead of dwelling on the success or failures of others, this poor couple that is Kanye and Bianca is determined to make this their mark in the industry and give their passion the time it needs to thrive. So while the fashion world eagerly awaits the next chapter in Kim Kardashian's journey, Kanye and Bianca's unwavering focus on their own artistic visions serves as a reminder that success is a journey unique to each individual. Whether flourishing or facing challenges, the key lies in perseverance and determination. Stay tuned as the story continues to unfold with each fashion powerhouse carving their own path to success. Don't forget to like these videos and others on this page. Leave a comment down below for what you think about Kim's partnership with NBA. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Skims is officially the underwear partner of the NBA. Once they launched the men's campaign with SGA, Nick Bosa, and Neymar, I knew something was coming, but I didn't think it was going to be this fast. I mean, she got my man Adam Silver cheesing right now. Saw a lot of mixed reviews in the comment section, and a lot of people were saying this is...